Then, another totally bizarre thing. They announced, it was almost like a parody. I know. We've got a new championship. Okay, so, 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 <laughs> like, so. what? Okay, so we're doing an interim title and we're having a battle royal for it, right? And then we're going to introduce another championship, but we're going to actually do a full-blown tournament. Like, shouldn't the world title have like I guess it's sort well, of well it's not tournament. a full blown tournament what it is it's it's, is, it's an eight well yeah yeah it's not full blown it, it's an eight man tournament there's though. there's eight guys it's Buddy Matthews versus Pac it's Ethan Page versus Miro it's Penta versus Malachi and then there will be a match featuring two people from New Japan and the winners of these matches will then square off in a four way at Forbidden Door to yeah. determine so really it's just like it's basically four qualifiers leading to a four way at the pay-per-view for what is being called you ready for this everybody the all atlantic championship okay so all atlantic what I think they want they wanted to make it international so it's like all these things that were on the atlantic ocean which japan is not one of. i was gonna say japan is in the pacific yes it is okay so i <laughs> <laughs> they what is they, going on here? They they could have called it the international championship. Because sure, they, because the idea is is to have you know people representing different countries. I mean, like the belt has has a Chinese flag on it too, which is certainly also not near the Atlantic Ocean. But, no, but I mean, what if you're bigger, near the Indian Ocean? The bigger picture is how many belts do we need? Jesus Christ! Okay, we just added the Ring of Honor title, the Ring of Honor TV title, and the Ring of Honor Pure title. Okay. And at an interim, and the interim, did we, add, did we a, add the? I guess we did, yeah. So, and the interim title we're adding. So it's like the last thing we need is another singles championship. I mean, we have the TNT title. We don't need another. I mean, there's way like Tony Khan's definitely gone. Like you know, like look, you you learn and you evolve. And like I know people like, oh, on day one he promised this, and it's like it's three years later you learn. However, I remember when it starts. Like we want one. Singles title, one women's title, one tag team title. We want the belts to mean something. We want winning the belt to mean something, you know, blah, 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 blah. Okay, people clamored. Oh, we want a mid-card title. So then it's like, well, we're going to give you another title, but it's not going to be a mid-card title. It's going to be almost as big as the major title. Then it sort of turns into a mid-card title. And now, like, what do we need? Like, I mean, I mean, like, when they announce that, it's just like, this is like the last thing we need. It's like, it's like... There's too many belts. They don't mean anything. I mean, and this isn't, what's this, you know, I mean, it's, I mean, I know promotions have had a zillion belts. It's like, you know, like WWE used to have that European title. Remember, not when Davey Boy and Sean were fighting over it, but like a year or two later when it was just some joke belt that D'Lo Brown had. Um, and like, that's, you don't need a freaking joke belt. And it won't be a joke belt because they don't do comedy that much. But you know what? They're going to put a belt on Miro. So he doesn't go for the other belts. I mean, Miro's another one. That guy, you know, basically everybody in this tournament was not put in the battle royal, and every single person in this tournament probably should have been in that battle royal. So, because it's like they're passing up the the world title to go for this all Atlantic title, Miro and and uh, Pac and you know all of the Penta, yeah, just like. Mal uh, Malachi, yeah, I don't know. Just I don't understand having another championship. That one I don't, I do not get it. Just like what? It, also, the other problem is, is that it's like you, you feel incumbent to have like all the titles defended on like the pay per views, and it's like we already have enough championships for a pay per view. We don't need like more championships on the pay per view. Like we gotta get that TBS title on. We gotta get the all Atlantic title on. And it's just like oh my I mean, whatever. I uh, I mean the matches will probably be good. The the, the match well, tonight we, we was had a good. good one. It was Pac and Buddy Matthews. This was one of the qualifiers. Yeah. And uh this was a an excellent match. Pac won with the black arrow uh, I actually watched this match, and uh, I actually thought, you know, uh, I don't know. You look at the lineup for the uh, tournament and everything like that, and, you know, Penta and Malachi, and, you know, I guess I guess not so much Ethan Page and Miro. It's not going to be like a high-flying match, but, you know, I, I sort of watched this match, and I thought, is this going to be like the match where, you know, it's not, not like the uh, high-speed title they do in stardom, but something where it's like, 
You know, this is going to be know, the match okay, where every okay, you time know, you do you, the match, it's going to be like some big crazy match with ice you, you know what? You know what? Actually, I never even was thinking in those lines, but the one thing is that they could do, because that's the one thing, like, it's, no, Stardom's the only one that does it, but AEW has the talent to do it. But if you have, like, this high-speed championship match and you go, like, eight minutes of just super fast action and they've got all these guys and, you know, you go with your pack and Buddy Murph, Buddy Matthews and Dante and all these guys and it's just, you know what you know I mean? It's, it's something on the pay-per-view, which would then be a different style championship match from everything else. Because I love, not every time, okay, because there's always exceptions, but... I have loved a lot of the high-speed title matches in Stardom because they're completely different, and it's not, you know, it's, and you know it's not the world title or the wonder title or one of those things, right? You know it's kind of a mid-card title for the smaller wrestler. It's almost like a junior title, but the thing is, is the match is, is usually short because they, you know, so, and not always because they have had matches that have gone over 10 minutes, but generally it's a short match where you just go balls out and, um, you know, it's like you really see how quick and technical and athletic the people are. And it's a different match. So, you know, I guess if they would have brought in like this as a high speed title, I um, maybe I wouldn't be so negative because at least it's different. It's like, what is the All Atlantic title different from the TNT title? You know what I mean? Or different from the I mean, the pure title at least is different, but we almost never see it. Yes. But what's the difference between that and the Ring of Honor Championship, other than, I guess, in the Ring of Honor Championship, you shake hands, and the Ring of Honor TV Championship? Like, how are, how is the Ring of, you know, how are these championships different? They're just not. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.